now our next guest leaves her judging paddle at the door in her new touring show. She offers fans a closer look into her life. Well, it's called An Evening with Shirley Ballas, which is good because, you know, that <laughs> obviously explains who it is. It's quite essential. <laughs> <laughs> because if it was another name, you wouldn't be doing it. <laughs> so uh, she's, it promises a night of showbiz tales, behind the scenes strictly gossip, chance to ask her anything. You're so brave. She, uh, she joins us now. And do you know what? I, I was, it was really nice this morning to be reading about the show and what you're going to be doing. And for you, from, from your point of view, how nice to be able to get out and think about something like that. I am extremely excited. I want it to be a fun, out there kind of evening. I don't just want to sit and chat. I want the audience to come back with their questions. No question is off limits. I also, a student of mine, uh, Luke Miller, is going to assist me. I'm actually going to put my Latin shoes back on and do a little cha-cha-cha, some spins, some things. Jason Gilkinson's going to help me with some choreography. So I'm hoping all in all it's going to be an absolutely spectacular evening. It sounds spectacular. And also just that moment for, you know, people to sit down and really ask you anything they want to, which is great for the audience. Terrifying for you, surely? No. No? Yeah. I think through all my industry, you know, I've told you before that I was subject to some bullying throughout my yeah. life, that the trolls and the social media is really doesn't bother me. But I, I invite everybody, if the trolls want to come out with their keyboards and chat and talk and meet, I want well, to meet so, everybody. Okay, so when, meet how, have you pulled, how are you now so strong then? If you have gone from that phase of experiencing that bullying and there'll be lots of people, whether they're going through this at the moment or it'll be something their children are going through and they will recognise that, they'll be thinking, well, hang on, how have you suddenly become so brave? How have you tackled that? Well, meditation, yoga, some counselling. I have a very strong mother I can talk to all the time. Very supportive boyfriend. I think my life changed when I met him three years yeah. ago. Mm. So he's somebody that's a good sounding base for mm. me that's good actually really re given me some confidence. Yeah, and I, mean. I remember when you met him and you came in here first time round. <laughs> and, uh, I mean, you were literally about three feet off the ground. Your feet, you, you had wings. It's his birthday tomorrow. Happy yeah. birthday, Danny. Very exciting. Happy birthday. So, uh, so he's going to come with you? Will he be coming with you when you're out? Because you're doing yes. three cities, aren't you? And yes. each of those cities has something important for you. First one being Liverpool, and that is important. Well, Wallasey was where I was born and raised and I used to train with a lady called Margaret Redmond. I, I think that she will be interviewing me on the evening in Liverpool, so special. And then Birmingham, when I was 16, 17, I travelled up there for my private lessons and then ended in London. So each of those places means something special to me, so I'm very excited. And, you, I mean, the experience that you've got within the, the dance world as well, I mean, the, the championships you've won, it's just this incredible dancing career, but it's a tough world. So you must have lots of stories from that time. Lots and lots and lots of stories. The good, from, the bad and the ugly. Yeah, the good, the bad and the ugly. From marriages to, you know, winning in 1983, coming back in 84 and not getting a recall with a new partner, studying, training, and then in 1995 re-winning again in a very difficult industry with not a lot of support. Mm. So I think I believed in myself and really wanted to achieve something that other people thought was yeah. not possible. Why not yeah. a lot of support? Because I had left the country, I had won with my first husband, Sammy Stopford, who was iconic, and then I decided to leave. I didn't want to dance anymore, changed my mind after six months once I'd moved to America. There was no coming back to England, not a lot of support. Then I had my son, and then I got married a second time, and, and then I trained this beginner from scratch at 21 and came back in 1995 to re-win that title I won in 83. Mm. So I learned more the second time round, but very, very difficult journey. Mm, and talking of difficult journeys, last year Strictly was a difficult journey. It was a very different journey. I mean, one that you all pulled off incredibly well. I mean, you know, as a viewer, you sit there and you watch it and you still love it so much. But being in there and sort of looking back at it, how different did it feel for you? Well, first of all, we didn't know whether it would go on. You know, we were waiting and waiting. Sarah James did an absolutely amazing job in every sense of the word with the COVID restrictions. It was like getting into Fort Knox yeah. when we would go. And uh, Jeanette Monera was our cheerleader. You know, she would, she made more noise than any audience that <laughs> I know. Tiny little thing. And everybody just came together to make sure that it worked. We wanted it to go on for the British public. We wanted to give people something for those rainy day evenings. And I think it's um, we had a bit of a parallel because 
we found out what you guys had all gone through when we came around to doing Dancing on Ice and, and suddenly you're without an audience and everyone's separated Difficult. and the places like Fort Knox and corridors that you used to be able to walk down, you now got to have a pass to get through and some <laughs> people can't walk through here. And it was a very different way of doing it. But testament to your amazing team, our amazing team, that actually you get these shows on the telly. Well, I think in the last year, people have surprised themselves with what you can actually do, everything going online, Zoom, I'd never heard of Zoom. And then, you know, your show and our show, it just was absolutely something that was out of a, a, an iconic movie yeah. in the future. Yeah. But here we are. So you spoke to them this morning. <laughs> and uh, and so, uh, so do you know who's on? Because you start quite early. You start in sort of June, July, don't you? Yes, they start already starting to get the celebrities together and, of course, all the professionals have been announced and uh, the judges were very excited to be back. So it's going to be, again, just when you think it couldn't get any better, mm. with intrigue and excitement, it does. Two words. Carrie Simmons. With a bum, bum, bum and a shimmy, no. Oh! <laughs> So definitely she's definitely not. Definitely not. 99.9999%. <laughs> it is a family show. It's not a political agenda. Right, OK. okay. <laughs> well, that's that rumour knocked on the head, then. <laughs> but you, you do know who's in. Oh! Mm. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a good... It's a good... It's a good... We're not going to be disappointed. It's outstanding. Everything it's Sarah good. James does is absolutely outstanding. So I think that you will be mesmerised, surprised and really really intrigue all the way. And judge, judges wise, all, all back together, Bruno could get back this time? Well, or hoping, it, well, yeah. you know, he I will know. certainly, if he's got to fly on the back of a pigeon, he'll get there. I know. So we're hoping that he gets back. Yeah. We love Bruno. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Well, it's, um, it's always lovely to have you here. Um, and uh, this smiley face. Thank you <laughs> very Thank much you. indeed. Enjoy and the tour. To you. You're going it's so on good tour. to be here with you. Well, well. for us, too, to have real people in here. <laughs> next time you're in, hopefully we'll be able to give you a big cuddle if oh, we're allowed, and that would be nice. Yeah, That's the next nice. step. That would be you. nice. So it's an evening with Shirley Ballas. It starts on the 29th of May in Liverpool. Uh, tickets are available online now. Then it moves on to Birmingham and to London. Enjoy it. Thank, Thank you. Good Thank to see you. you. Thank you.